Good morning you guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, very excited to bring you uh, this content from the new GoPro Hero Black 8. Um, as you can see we're currently packing. Um, we've got very exciting news to share with you in the next few days about moving into a house that we have built. Anyway, we've got to be quiet because the wife's asleep. Uh, but we're going to take this new camera, we're going to head down to the Gold Coast, we're going to do some filming in the water, slow-mo, Basically, I'm going to test this camera. I love the slow mos and the hyper smooth. So, let's get at it. Let's head on down the Gold Coast. Okay? Sweet. Alrighty, guys, I'm now down at one of the beaches on the Gold Coast. It's a pretty smooth day, so I might be able to get some good visibility, I reckon. Um, so let's get some shots from underwater, from behind the waves, and let's see if I can catch an aircraft coming through, because uh, right under the flight path of Coolangatta Airport. Anyway, whoop, enough from me, let's get into it. Uh, let's get undressed. Hopefully you saw some cool slow-mo footage there of the waves. It was always nice being at the beach. Until uh, as I'm walking back to my towel, this dog starts peeing on it. <laughs> I guess I'll sit in my car wet. Next stop guys, we are heading to the airport uh, to try and get some of the classic shots that I love so much. <sighs> yeah, it's up there now. I'm now here at the Gold Coast Airport, just underneath the flight path, so the uh, where the aircraft will land. I may as well talk to you in just a second about the what the GoPro Hero 8 does is not compatible with with the previous accessories. You know the the 50/50 dome, so you get the half above, half below water. Doesn't work with this uh, Hero 8. Oh, here's a light aircraft. Anyway, um, so yeah, so the, the 50 50 dome from the Hero 7 won't work. It tends to want to scratch the, um, the lens up if you're trying to attach it and it'll probably fall out. The G6 Fayotech gimbal doesn't fit. The body of the Hero 8 is too big, actually. <laughs> um, so that doesn't work, so you can't use that gimbal for it. Anything that you can attach by the little uh, prongs in the bottom, that all works, not a stress. Um, but I'm going to have to get another 50-50 dome and maybe another gimbal, but this is meant to be better than a gimbal. 
um, at least during the day I've found it has been better um, and at night time I've just got this little uh, light set up here so that I can get a bit of light on me so it stops the shake besides from that some cool slow-mo shots of those uh, two aircraft landing uh, not a very busy airport so there's not many opportunities here at the moment for nice large aircraft but there are two a320s even when I have days off flying of course I still find myself at an airport taking photos and video anyway on to the next test with this camera I'm now taking um, what am I gonna go oh, let's go for a drive probably up to surfers so I want to try and get a photo of the skyline from the beach but in the water in the same way I tried to do those last photos I've done um, and I need to move along from here because the airport security keeps looking at me weird <laughs> Put on too much on the train. Burn in the eyeball. fish and chip shop here on the Goldie. Don't forget, Australia has harsh sun, so it's lip flop and slap it. Alright. We're here, we're here at my favourite seafood place. 